All right, I'm back in my new studio. <laughs> the uh, doing things this way, you know, you're susceptible to interruptions, like mom calling. All right, I was I was talking about uh, watching uh, the uh, the movie Ruth in um, the Hollywood did and uh, had the uh, Boaz was played by the actor that played the Virginian. And it was totally convoluted. You know, they had Ruth heads with some sort of um, priestess that would prepare children for human sacrifices. And then she got married to this, to a, to a Jewish guy and, and, uh, and he got killed and then she went away with his mother. And, you know, it was all, you know, totally not even in line with anything in the scripture. And uh, it made me go back and read Ruth again. Okay. So the first time I read Ruth, uh, or this year, earlier, you know, last year, you know, I was looking for when the characters in the Bible operate when they're conscious versus their subconscious mind and paid attention to when they were, you know, communing with God. And in the book of Ruth, the only one that is communing with God is Naomi. All right. And she's praying, um, you know, for good things to happen for Ruth. And it does, you know, and she's in the lineage of Jesus. And uh, so in doing that, I got a couple of things, you know. Um, it, it all depends on where your focus is on what you get out of the Bible. So it's like every time you read it, you get something different. And I've read it 13 times in this last time around. It's like I'd never read it before, you know. I mean, I kind of knew the stories, right? But there's a lot of things I forgot and didn't notice, you know, like, um, you know, in, uh, so Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, um, are all, uh, are all Moses. And in, in those books, um, in Deuteronomy, they, he, uh, he recounts going up to Mount Sinai to get the tablets 14 times. But the third time is the only time you, it talks about, you know, he gets mad, throws the tablets down and breaks them. And then just says, you know, ask Aaron, uh, you know, what happened? And he's like, I don't know. We put, we, they put their gold and the jewelry in the fire and out came a golden calf. And he's like, all right, whoever's with me and God, get over here. And then they get, they got their swords and they slaughtered the rest of them. And I never heard that ever preached from the podium ever. Right. The, uh, so there's, you know, and, and there's a lot of redundancy and, um, there's, you know, and what I'm figuring out is those areas where the selfishness um, interrupts the God connection, and that's where things go sideways. Okay, and whenever there's offense, and there's a lot of offense going on. In fact, the offense is from the from the Bible, and I said this many times, are the cause, they're, they're actually the cause of the uh, Islamic faith. There you go. Because you got this guy, uh, Muhammad, who, when he learned about the offenses that, you know, Jacob committed against Esau, and, you know, that... Um, you know, Abraham, you know, and issues with Abraham and, and Isaac and Ishmael, you know, this, you know, that, you know, he stopped believing anybody. He always expects the other shoe to drop, right? Always expected to get screwed over. Okay. And, um, you know, he made up his own rules. And uh, that you got 
Um, you, you got the anger and the um, retaliation against offense is what's fostered. And that's why they've got the issues we got, right? Um, you know, it's, you know, Celebrate Recovery needs to be, um, you know, promoted worldwide, okay, in a, every religion. All right. The I'm trying to get over this, this cold. It's driving me crazy. Um, I didn't get an extra day. Um, I, for some reason, I thought yesterday was Thursday. Um, so I got an extra day to, to get some stuff done. Um, but um, y'all have a great new year. Bye.